hi viewers you are welcome to today's tutorials in this video i want to show you how to create your own tab in microsoft powerpoint interface now creating your own tab in powerpoint makes it easier and also very important especially when you normally work with powerpoint and we have so many commands organized in the tabs of microsoft powerpoint so when you create your own tab you can organize the most frequent use commands in your own tab in microsoft powerpoint now in this powerpoint interface you can see we have different tabs we have the home tab insert tab design tab transition tab animations slideshows we have so many tabs which are available in microsoft powerpoint now we want to create our own tab in powerpoint and organize our most used commands in this particular tab that we want to create we have so many approach which we can use to get to the interface where we are going to configure all this operation the first approach is to move to your quick access toolbar and you can see we have this small arrow here which has the screen tip customized quick access toolbar when you click on this we have these options and the option we are going to choose from this menu is more commands and we are going to have this interface and this interface is where we are going to configure this operation by creating our own tab in microsoft powerpoint the next approach is to click on file in this backstage view we have this option that says more then we click on options we are going to have this interface then we click on customize ribbon and this interface will pop up and this is where we are going to configure our operation the next approach is to select any of these tab then you right click on it you have these two options customize the ribbon and also collapse the ribbon you select customize the ribbon then we have this interface the next approach is to right click on any of this ribbon then you have these three options then you choose the second option from this menu that is customize the ribbon now that we have this interface open on our desktop we have these two sections here yeah, this section contain all the commands available in powerpoint and we want to create our own tab in powerpoint and when you come below this section you can see we have three options here that is new tab new group and rename we are going to create our own tab so we are going to click on new tab and when you click on new tab a new tab will be created and you can see we have new tab custom and we are going to select this and rename this tab to our desired name and we have two options to do that you can click on rename from this section or you can right click on the tab and choose rename from the option now we have this dialog box that says display name and we are going to give a name that we desire for this tab after giving a name you click on ok from the dialog box now you can see our tab is created below this tab we have new group we select this and also rename this group so we are going to give a name to this group then you click on ok now we have a new tab created and we also have a new group so now we are going to select all the commands that we frequently work with in microsoft powerpoint into our newly created tab so we come to this section and click on this drop down arrow and choose all commands so that we can have all the available commands in powerpoint now we are going to scroll and find all the commands that we use in powerpoint so i have this command add animation 
add bookmark animation painter animation trigger we also have the so you have the option to choose all the commands that you want as you have the audio command here you have the auto review so on the binded rule binded columns now these commands are now grouped under this first group that i created which is the jonas group so i'm going to create another group and give this group a name then i click on ok now under this group i'm also going to group my commands so i select the bold command borders width and also choose the brackets we have bring forward bring front the center change shape change picture we also have the checkbox clear formatting also want to select the close command I'm going to create the last group then I click on OK under this group I'm going to select my commands of the collapse colors the copy command the crop also create video the cut command so go through all this and choose the command that you want to have in your tab Now, if you are done with the selecting of all these commands, you come below this dialog box. We have the OK button. Then you click on it once. Now, when you come back to the interface of Microsoft PowerPoint, you can see that we have this new tab created. When you click on it, you are going to see that we have the first group, the second group, and also the last group. And under the first group, you can see the commands that we selected. And in the second group we have the commands here and also the third group we have all the commands here so these are the commands that i used to work with in microsoft powerpoint so if i want to change the font color of this i just select this text and come to my last group you can see i have this font color here i can choose any color i want for this and also change the font size i can also change the font of this and you can see the effect here I can also bold this by selecting this bold command here I can also select this and clear all the formatting applied to this test you can add animation and you can see the preview of all these commands that I'm applying to this test in this slide area so this is how to create your own tab in Microsoft PowerPoint and I hope this video was helpful. Please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss new uploads. See you in the next tutorials. Thank you.